Welcome to the Glenn Beck Program. There was a clear message sent on 828. Restore honor. Do, do so through faith, hope, and charity. Be the Americans that we, we know we are and can be. Well, there are people that are working day and night to, to recreate that. There's spin-off events that are coming up. Well, that's fantastic. I love freedom of speech. More speech, not less. But let's use this as a learning opportunity. Don't shut them down, let them speak. But what is the message and who is involved? Not speculation, not future news. From them, who is involved and who are they proud to stand next to? Find out, maybe more than you want to know. Next, come on. Hello, America. I, um, I'm glad you're here tonight. I want to have a, I want to have a conversation with you, but I, I want to have a, a reasoned conversation because, quite honestly, I feel stupid when I say communist. I mean, uh, two years ago, I didn't even think that. I mean, I wouldn't have believed half of this stuff. I don't want to believe it now. During the election, 2008, some people were questioning whether or not Barack Obama were a socialist. There was some strong evidence, his past association, and his own words. I think that there was a tendency to lose track of the political and community organizing and, and activities on the ground that are able to put together the actual coalitions of power through which you bring about redistributive uh, change. Everybody's so pinched that business is bad for everybody. And, and I think when you spread the wealth around, it's good for everybody. Redistributive change. There was also his voting record that rated farther left uh, than socialist Bernie Sanders. Now, don't take my word for it. I mean, this is from the uh, annual National Journal ranking here. Most liberal senator in 2007, Barack Obama. Passed the socialist, left of the socialist. Well, that's a pretty good hint that this guy is a radical. Well, what was the reaction from the left? Deny, deny, deny. That's crazy. He's not a radical. He's mainstream. He's not a socialist. Never. Where would you possibly get that idea? Well, then he was elected. And immediately, Newsweek celebrated with this title. I remember holding that up on TV and saying, we are? I, I thought nobody was a socialist. I thought that was wrong to call somebody a socialist. I thought it was politically incorrect. Then... Then the president started to govern. And the more he governed, the more he, I mean, quacked like a duck, walked like a duck. And so people started pointing that out. Well, Obama's reaction, well, of course, that's crazy, over the top, it's dangerous. Listen. The kindest of terms you're sometimes referred to out in America is a socialist. I think that uh, when you listen to uh, Rush Limbaugh or Glenn Beck, it's... It's beyond that. It's pretty uh, apparent, it's and uh, it's troublesome. You're not mopping fast enough. That's a socialist mop. America, I want to make this very clear to you. This, is, this, this has become, this started about Barack Obama. And the more I got into it, I'm, the more I saw this network that he had cobbled together. No, no, no that had been cobbled together and he was brought in. It is, this isn't about Barack Obama. This isn't about the next election. This is about our country. And this has been going on for a very long time. Progressives in the Republican Party are socialist light. They're progressive, big government. The Democrats have lost their soul. They're, 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 they're not even the Democrats anymore. And it's time for Americans to share that with their neighbors and make sure this election they understand. I don't think you're going to be able to stop what's coming, but you at least have a fighting chance if we just face the truth. It's not about the president. Now, even the New York Times was asking the president if he were a socialist. After the interview, he later called the Times back to clarify his answer. This is what he said. It's hard for me to, to believe you were entirely serious about that socialist question. Uh, we've actually been operating uh, in a way that uh, is entirely consistent with free market principles uh, and that uh, uh, some of the same folks who are uh, throwing the word socialist around can't say the same. Okay. 
the same people that are using the word socialist. Well, he found that hard to take seriously, yet he's to the left of a socialist, Bernie Sanders. Bernie doesn't have, a, I actually have respect, I disagree with everything Bernie Sanders says, but I have respect for him. He at least admits it. And I'm sorry, but the George Bush started it thing, while true, doesn't get you off the hook. No one is forcing you to continue it, Mr. President. So, what is it? Are you a socialist or not? Will you denounce socialism as a failure that it is, or not? Well, he'll never answer that question. No one in the press will even ask that question. I've got a phone here. You know who has the phone? You know who has this number on this phone? The only one that has that phone is the White House. They have the phone number. Have they called? Never. Never. We have been the number two show in cable news now. I don't know how long. Um, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you show the evidence? Why wouldn't you just come out and say, this is ridiculous. I denounce it. Well, they can't. We've shown you their words, not my words, their words. And I tell you every night, do not take my word for it. You go and look these things up yourself. You've seen the policies. We've shown you his friends. Let me ask you this. If your child was hanging around with stoners and druggies all day, would you not begin to question that maybe your child had a problem? Maybe your child was a stoner or a druggie. Would you at least be concerned about a circle of friends of influence around your child? You should be if you're a decent parent. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Should come out of your mouth. You can judge someone by the company that they keep. Not by the stray person here and there that they might have crossed paths with, but the people that inspire them. And all the president's friends just happen to be anti-free market Marxists. I never, ever thought this would be the case in our country. I, I, I mean, I ex okay, maybe one gets in, but where are all these people coming from? True Marxism, I never thought would be a legitimate movement in this country, but it is. And it is be being completely dismissed and overlooked intentionally by the media today. But there was a barrage of questions from the media. Oh, it was like shock and awe when we did 828. Oh, the questions never stopped. Who's paying for it? W what is the involvement of the NRA? Where's the money going? It better not be political. Who's planning all of this? Why on this date? On and on and on and on. The ridiculous number of questions for months. Well, last night when I got home, I went in and I, uh, I read my email and I, I read Twitter and Facebook and it came to a fevered pitch. Why did it come to a fevered pitch last night? Because here I am. I am pointing out that the Communist Party USA is involved with the left's big counter 828 rally. It's coming up this weekend. It's called One Nation. The email I received was phenomenal, filled with vitriol and hatred, called a liar all kinds of just awful things. I, I'm assuming these people have the internet because they emailed me. So why didn't they do their own homework? Why wouldn't they follow my own dictate to you? Do not take my word for it. Find the question with boldness and find it out yourself. What I told you to do last night is go to CPA, uh, CP uh, USA's website, Communist Party USA. Radical ideas, you go there. Now just a couple of clicks, you click there, right on there, front page, One Nation, join the movement today, and you will see the Young Communist League is organizing for One Nation working together in the rally in DC. Now you go down, got it? You go down this page and you click on One Nation working together. Takes you right to the deal. Now here are the groups endorsing 10 to 10. This page reads more like an FBI most wanted list. If you are a Marxist, you are free to be one. I strongly disagree with you, and I will fight you with every last fiber I have on the battlefield of ideas. I think you're an enemy to the, of, of the Republic, and you know you are, or you wouldn't be cowering like little girls in the shadows. Every president until now has echoed this objection. Every single president from George Washington to now has recognized enemies that are within. They have recognized that the communists are a problem. But this president is doing the opposite. And do not take my word for it. Question with boldness. 
Look at some of the 300 plus groups associated with this rally that is trying to recreate the image of 828. Now this is a, uh, this is a rally that is supported by Charlie Rangel and Howard Dean and Obama's own group, uh, Obama's own group of uh, Organizing for America. They sent out this email. This is Obama's group Organizing for America promoting this event. The event organizers were so excited that they posted this on their website. Obama, where is it? Obama Organizing Group pushes liberal march next weekend. Remember, 8 to 8, no politics. Here's the White House. The biggest progressive demonstration in decades. So, who's coming? Well, let me show you. Because there's a lot of the usual suspects here, but you really need to know who everybody is. First of all, Green for All. Who is that? That, of course, is our communist revolutionary friend, 9-11 truther, Van Jones. Then there's Sojourners. This is, of course, Jim Wallace, the Marxist preacher for the uh, president. Then you have uh, SEIU, who is the former member of uh, SDS, who is also now um, under investigation by the FBI for... Um, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Andy Stern is uh, under investigation with the FBI for corruption. Then you have, of course, the National Council of La Raza. La Raza. What is La Raza? Translation, the race. Then color of change. This is just another one of the communist um, Van Jones organizations. In fact, this is, the, this is the first organization that boycotted this show. We have four. This guy's organization is also boycotting the show. We have four organizations that are boycotting this program right now. Van Jones, also, before he started this one and got involved in this one, um, he did Storm. I've asked you to read about Storm. Again, don't take my word for it that the guy's a communist. Read Storm, a group, a communist group, a communist revolutionary group, according to their manual, that says Storm members brought experience in the militant street tactics, revolutionary agitation, and coalition building. Oh, coalition building, like one nation working together. Okay. Then you have the uh, National Organization of Women. You also have Code Pink, Women for Peace. Code Pink. Remember, this is the group that had ties to the flotilla that eventually attacked Israel, that also has uh, ties to Hamas, and William Ayers and Bernadine Dorn, weather underground members that blew things up. Then you have, of course, Planned Parenthood, which was started by racist uh, Margaret Sanger, who just Planned Parenthood, all they were trying to do is just get rid of some of the undesirables through eugenics. There are too many progressive uh, groups to count. There's the Prog uh, Progress Ohio, Progress uh, uh, Congress Action Fund, uh, Progressive Democrats of America, Progressive Democrats of America, New York, and New York City chapter. And then there is the uh, Committee of Correspondence for Democracy and Socialism, the Democratic Socialists of America, the Chicago Democratic Socialists of America, the Detroit Democratic Socialists of America, the New York City Democratic Socialists of America. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. But it is absolutely inconceivable that a reporter asks the president, are, are you a socialist? Do you, do you know what a democratic socialist is? When the former Soviet Union fell apart, they were given a choice. We can have fundamental change of the Soviet Union, or we can remain communist, and then we'll have a riot in the streets. The communists, like Vladimir Putin, took off his uniform, removed his gun, burned his communist card, and became a democratic socialist. It's communist without the uniform and the gun. So, look who else. We have the Communist Party USA standing with this rally this weekend.